Alright, turn it off. Like working on an engine at fucking one in the morning. Fucking an ocean. Uh, the engine is leaking diesel. Can't run the engine like this. engines in the middle of the ocean and dicking around with them, especially engines I've never opened up anywhere. I wouldn't want to do this sitting at a dock. We tried some, a little bit of steel epoxy. We got to give it an hour to cure, which hopefully will prevent it from uh, happening again. And what if it doesn't work? Um, I don't know. Ready? We're not fully funded this year. We only got about one third of the funding that we really need. You would think, with all the talk about climate change, that you would be able to get money to do research in the polar regions dealing with climate change. We have to get this data now because it's just not going to exist. Once those glaciers are gone, they're gone, and they're not coming back for potentially tens of thousands of years. Different expeditions need different mentalities. Nobody had ever sailed around the Americas nonstop single-handed. And I was doing it on a 27-foot boat that was 40 years old. And to do it all without stopping, I mean, I spent 309 days alone in the ocean and sailed 27,000 miles without ever stopping. If you're not going to do that, like, have a career and 9 to 5 and have children and whatnot, then you got to do something. Like, what are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do with your existence? And I wasn't going to live the traditional life, and I wasn't going to have a family and a house and a 9 to 5 career. I'm just not made for it. So then what are you going to do? Sit around and watch Netflix all the time? You know, I mean, you got to do something productive. You only get one shot at life. You get one ticket. You get not just do you need to enjoy the ride, but you should try to make something of it and have a meaningful existence. Angus. So what's in here now is basically Nick's stuff. Trevor's and Christie's and mine and Phineas's. If it was me, I would have gone to the place and did it all at once. Well, if, if I was me, I'd have done it for free at Angus Phillips' house. Take the ribbons from your hair. Shake them loose and let them fall. Press them soft against your skin. Like the shadows on the wall. Come and lay down by my side In the early morning light All I'm asking is your time Help me make it through the night Well, this is only dry goods and long-term stuff. We'll make one more trip back probably within 48 hours before we leave for perishables and other good stuff. Yellows are fuel, blues are water. Things break in the ocean. <laughs> what are these gonna break? Who knows? It's always something. Can you talk about basically what you did during COVID? Uh, yeah, during uh, the pandemic, I was in the back of a boat yard building the research boat that we're about to take to Greenland. There's no interior in the boat when we got the boat. So the first thing we did was build the forward cabin so I had somewhere to sleep. Kind of could drive you crazy. There's just drifts of stuff, tools and parts and wood. That boat is the closest thing I have to a home. When this expedition is over, everybody else on the boat is going to go home. They're all got a home they can go to. I don't have a home I can go to. I don't have anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to climb that. Hey, will you give me some slack then? Anytime you do that, like go into a full contact fight, you're going into the unknown. It's kind of what going to sea is too, right? You know, you got a good plan to make it, but you can, there's always, there's so many variables and the sea's indifferent. It doesn't care about you, it doesn't acknowledge you. It just swallow you or reward you. And same thing with fighting. like. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna go in there, there's a referee, but it's still unknown. You might, you, know, you don't know what's gonna happen until you make it happen. What's up? Yeah, you wanna go pick up Nicole with me? All right, we're gonna be leaving soon. 
We gotta go get Nicole. She's gonna be over there, load up with stuff, bring the dinghy on board, and get underway. Sweet. Right here. It's time. <laughs> the time has come. Why are you in a bin bound? Okay. The maiden voyage of the Marie Star. Marie Star. Bye, Jackie Wagon. Bye, Mama T. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. The, the land recedes until it's 360 degrees of water in every direction. And that's always a beautiful time on any trip. You know, finally you're properly in the ocean. And then things started falling apart. All right, so where do you think we start, Phineas? <laughs> I say we take it all apart. All right, let's do it. It's going to be a cracked pipe. A bad union nut or some blockage. It just can't really be anything else. Also, it goes back to it was fine and then it wasn't fine. We have a little bit of a ticking clock here, you know. Mm -hmm. Our batteries won't last forever. So I stick a new one on. I put it down. Tighten her back up. Stick it all back together again. Let me go Greenland. And then we go to Greenland. I'm glad that I don't have to fucking worry about shit like this. <laughs> Glad we got Captain Rutherford here to fix our problems. Yeah, well, don't say it till I fix the problem. You can already tell it's fixed. Miss Kirk, Miss Kirk, Miss Kirk, this is Sailing Vessel Marie Tharp. You copy? Yeah, Miss Kirk, uh, just wanted to let you know we're uh, the sailing vessel not too far from you. We are having engine trouble and cannot motor past you um, to get out of your way. So if you could pass behind our stern, we'd much appreciate it. Now, somewhere in the mix of that, the, the wind picked up. I hear a clunking noise, and then I look at the shaft for the rudder, and it is just clunking all over the place. Where to start? <laughs> Basically, we found one to six problems with the boat in the last eight hours. One problem being that the engine's leaking diesel. Is the big problem we found yesterday was the rudder, yeah. rudder shaft? Yeah, the rudder seems like it's fucked is the number one cause for most boats that are lost at sea or abandoned at sea is rudder failure. Poseidon has been has been a little pissy. Too many God-fearing men have died in the ocean for it to be on our side. You know. Nobody's on our side. We are on our side. And if we can't figure this out, then, then that's it. Nobody's going to help us. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, and please support us at OceanResearchProject.org, Patreon, or click this link, click the link. The, God damn it, this is fucking already too hard.